Anyone within this material world, they are entrapped by the sense enjoyment, either in higher planets or lower planets. Just like animal kingdom, there is sense uh, impetus, uh, and human being also. What is this human being? We are civilized being. What we are doing? The same thing, eating, sleeping, mating. The same thing as the dog is doing. So anywhere in the material world, either in the higher planet or in the lower planet, this sense gratification is prominent. Only in the spiritual world there is no sense gratification. There is simply an endeavor to satisfy Krishna. That is. Here everyone is trying to satisfy his sense. That is the law of material world. That is material life. So long you try to satisfy your senses, that is your material life. And as soon as you turn yourself to satisfy the senses of Krishna, that is your spiritual life. This is a very simple thing. Uh, instead of satisfying Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sevanam, uh, that is bhakti. You, you have got senses. You have to satisfy. Senses with senses you have to satisfy. Either you satisfy your yourself, but you do not know. The conditioned soul do not uh, the soul, soul does not know that satisfying the Krishna senses, his senses will be automatically satisfied. The same example, just like pouring water to the root or these fingers, part and parcel of my body giving full star here to the stomach, automatically the fingers will be satisfied. This secret we are missing. We are thinking we shall be happy by trying to satisfy our senses. A Krishna consciousness means don't try to satisfy your senses. You try to satisfy the senses of Krishna, automatically your senses will be satisfied. This is the secret of Krishna consciousness. Uh, the opposite party, they are thinking, oh, why shall I satisfy, why shall I work for Krishna uh, the whole day and night? Let me try for the karmis. Uh, just like you are working whole day and night for Krishna, they are thinking what fools they are. Uh, we are very intelligent. Uh, we are working for our own sense, uh, sense gratification whole day and night. And why they are working for Krishna? Uh, this is the ch- uh, difference between materialist and spiritualist. The spiritualist endeavor is to work whole day and night uh, strenuously without any heart, simply for Krishna. That is spiritual life. And the materialist means the same endeavor, all is trying to satisfy their personal sense. That is the difference, materialistic and spiritual. So the Krishna consciousness movement means that we have to train our senses to satisfy Krishna. That's all. So long in other previous many, many thousands and millions of lives, we have simply tried to satisfy our senses, personal senses. Let this life be dedicated for satisfying Krishna's senses. That is Krishna's senses. One life. We have similar lives, we have tried to satisfy our personal senses. Let this life, at least one life, let me try what happens. So we are not losers. Even we feel inconveniences by not satisfying our senses, but we are not losers. Try simply to satisfy Krishna's senses. Then it is all right.
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. 